Uh, so, that was in the jungle. <laughs> oh, I saw your profile right. and maybe to be like, here we are. Yeah, no, I'm not really team. sure you got a yeah. mustache. Here we go. Yeah, Next. Yeah, not sure about you, that. Wow. You invited me. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, Johnny, okay, can I get another beer? Goes. Whether you're a creator or an audio professional, I'm sure you've worked on a narrative project where you know there's a, a scene in a bar or a school or uh, any kind of location where there's a few extras, but not a lot. You know, it's not like a big Hollywood production where there's 20 to 100 extras. It's like five director's friends sitting in the background pretending to talk, blah, 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 you know, peas and carrots. What do you do when you need to add a little bit of vocal ambience from a small group, but you don't have the budget to hire a loop group? Well, I'm gonna show you what I do with Eleven Labs using my own voice, a microphone, and a voice changer. Now, before I jump too deep into what I'm gonna do here, just to draw a clear distinction, uh, I'm not using generative AI, although the video, this video clip was generated with AI just for the purposes of this, you know, tutorial, but I'm not generating, I'm not going text to speech. I'm actually gonna be recording my voice onto these tracks and then I'm gonna be changing them to other people's voices on these tracks using Eleven Labs. And I think that's important to uh, just distinguish because there's a huge threat with AI for creatives, myself included, but I do think there's a way to use it responsibly and ethically to just do something that we're not able to do. And on a low budget indie film, they don't have a budget to hire a loop group and my Walla libraries never cut it. They're always too busy. That's why it's really fun to kind of get into the headspace of these extras and record some Walla for them and then change it into a nice finished result. First thing we need to do is identify our characters in this little clip. It's a 10 second clip. It's got a little dolly move. Uh, so I've already got bartender. He doesn't really say much. We got left hat guy here. We also have Michael Michaela, who kind of starts out as a woman and then gets a nice mustache by the end. Uh, nice earrings as well. We got Rambo Gramps here, reminiscing about his days in the Nam. And then we've also got Bag of Milk. This is a Midwestern Kind of basically the twin brother, this guy on the right hand side. Thank you AI for this awesome clip. I've used this method on documentaries to fill in gaps with B-roll and archival stuff where there was no sound or the sound wasn't usable. Uh, and it's really fun. So basically I'm just gonna look at the bartender here and he says maybe right there. He kind of looks over his shoulder and maybe says, here we go. So he's reacting. Um, and then he kind of looks at Rambo Gramps here and probably gets him a beer. Looks like, yeah. Oh, he looks like the bottle kind of disappears there. All right. Here we go. It's probably good. Uh, let's go for left hat guy. Let's see. What is he's talking, talking. I'm going to say he's maybe a little confused about this, uh, date he's taken to the bar. Maybe not quite sure what he signed up for. Maybe he's into it. So <laughs> I saw your profile and <laughs> here we are. I'm not really sure you got a mustache. Right. Wow. Well, okay, we'll see where it goes. Cool. That'll be that'll be funny. Uh just do a little crossfade here. I'm gonna I'm gonna glue those together. We got Michael Michaela here. We need to hear what left hat guy's saying. I'm gonna say Michael Michaela's responding. Uh, there's a little lip flap. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. So, <laughs> I saw yeah. your profile, and right. <laughs> yeah. here we are. Uh, I'm not really sure you got a mustache. Uh, right. You know, you, you're the wow. one who invited me, so. Well, okay, we'll see where it goes. All right. Probably don't need that last little bit. Uh, I was doing a terrible falsetto there because I found that when you're gender bending from man to woman, do the falsetto, do the fake. Obviously, fake will never fool anybody voice uh affectation and it just helps it helps to kind of helps the pitch mapping of 11 labs let's do rambo gramps rambo gramps is gruff he's he waves with his hand there um he's affirming there turns the bartender there probably asked for a beer 
part of the fun with doing this is you get to figure out what the characters are saying. It's one of the best parts of being in a loop group is seeing what the actors come up with. Uh, and if you're doing it yourself, it's, it's totally out of your imagination. Uh, there I was in the jungle. The guy comes out waving at me like this. I had my M16. You know what happened next? <laughs> hey, uh, Johnny, can I get another beer? Cool. That was good. Last guy we got is Bag of Milk here. He's a Midwestern fella listening to Rambo Gramps. I'm going to do a little bit of a change in my voice just so it, it you know, initially has some variety before I send it to Eleven Labs. I'm going to listen to Rambo Gramps so I can respond to him. Uh, there I was in the jungle. Uh -huh. The guy comes out waving to me like this. Oh, boy. And my M16. Yeah? You know what happened next? Not sure about that. <laughs> hey, uh, Johnny, can I get another beer? It's fine. Okay, so let's listen to these all together, and then we'll send them to Eleven Labs and kind of figure out who's going to sound like what. Here's a whole composite mix of all these voices. Uh, so, I was in the jungle. <laughs> I saw your profile and waving to me like this. Here we are. Oh, I'm, I'm not really sure you got a yeah. mustache. Here we go. Yeah, Next. Yeah, not sure about that. Wow. Hey, uh, so. Johnny, okay, can I get another beer? Goes. Wow. Uh, that's all me. So it sounds like one of those early kind of Shane Dawson videos where I'm playing a bunch of characters. Uh, let's fix that. After logging into Eleven Labs, I'm going to go to Voice Changer. In Finder here, here's my files. I've labeled them as keep. So I, I'm sure, you know, this is definitely the right take to use. And then in voice changer on 11 labs, drag it in and you can start to audition voices. Uh, it's good to just kind of check a couple out and find one that matches the way the person looks. So this is left hat guy. Let's download with original name just so we can change it. I'm going to do 11 on the end there. All I'm gonna do now is audition different voices on each of those audio files to get a varied cast for this little bit of Walla for the film. I've got Michael Michaela here. This one I do want more of a uh, woman, so I can actually search for that. Probably gonna go with Matilda. Matilda sounds higher pitched than the guys. One of the downsides with the tier that I'm on for Eleven Labs is it allows me to only download MP3s. But for Walla, I'm okay with that. I don't, you know, it's not going to be feature dialogue. So if it has a little bit of high frequency loss and artifacts, I'm totally fine with that. Right now, I've downloaded all five of these. So I'm going to go back to Pro Tools and I'm going to just drag these in. I'm going to have to kind of organize the tracks around and everything. So we got Bartender. All I'm matching is the names here. So we got Bartender, got Left Hat Guy, Bag of Milk. Rambo, Gramps, and Michael Michaela. And actually what I need to do is make sure these are on respective tracks so we can A-B them. So I'm going to select Bartender and control click. Left Hat Guy, control click. Michael Michaela, control click. Rambo, Gramps, control click. This is lining up the start of all the audio files so that they match what was recorded. I do, it looks like I need to do a tiny bit of editing here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, and I know. Oh, you know, you, you know who to invite. I'm just going to chop the tails off of these just to clean them up a bit. It's interesting. The 11 Labs ones actually keep that noise in there, which is kind of cool. Gives it a little bit of uh, texture, realism, even though it's not. It's totally fake. Before we make this sound real, I'm going to uh, solo the clean output from 11 labs with all these five voices just so we can hear the raw before we start mixing it. Uh, so, I was in a jungle. Uh -huh. I saw your profile. Oh, right. like, yeah. Here we are. Oh, boy. I'm not really sure you got a yeah. mustache. Here we go. Next. Yeah. Not sure yeah. about you that. You're the one who invited me. Yeah. So. Well, Johnny, okay, can I get another beer? Goes. You know, way better than just listening to myself, but obviously it still sounds super upfront and fake. So we need to do a couple things to make this sit in our mix. So this aux is going to be bus seven. Now I'm going to change the output of these to that bus. So I'm shift option bus seven. On this aux, there's a couple things I like to do for Walla to make it sit. I like to do a pretty, not steep, but pretty high, high pass. I also like to do a pretty low, low pass, maybe like around eight or so. And then we're gonna add some mono reverb 
There are so many different reverb plugins out there, but I really just like to use stock plugins. So whether you're in Pro Tools, DaVinci Premiere, just grab a stock mono reverb, mono is the key word there, uh, and pick a preset that's kind of a medium or a small size room. Let's go to room. Let's go, um, how about a medium neutral room? Yeah, one second should be fine. And then pretty wet on the mix. Another really important thing with Walla is it's quiet. Generally, like for whatever reason, whenever I'm mixing Walla, I find that, you know, minus 20 or so is usually a good starting point. It's really just supposed to be in the background. So let's listen to this with all the clips down about 15 dB. We've got some mono reverb. Let's see how we're feeling about it. So, how it was in the jungle. Uh -huh. I saw your profile. Right. Right. Like, yeah. Here we are. Boy. I'm not really sure you got a yeah. mustache. Here we go. Well, Next. Yeah. Not sure you, about you're that. You're the one who invited me. Hey, yeah. so. well, Johnny, okay, can I get another beer? Goes. Cool. I mean, that's pretty convincing. And I'm just going to take it one more level and add some nice grimy bar music. And we'll see if we get, you know, any mileage with that, with bedding these into the background a little bit more. Let's do 90s honky tonk country with steel guitar and lyrics about AI taking sound editors jobs and enslaving humanity. All right, we've got our 90s country for this small town bar. I've also added in a couple of ambient sound effects, some glass clinks, which I'm gonna turn down a bit, and then the uh, buzzing of the kegerator under the bar. So let's check out this final kind of mix of some 11 Labs loop group, some source music, and some uh, glass clinks and bar room tone. I think that's pretty useful. It's obviously not perfect. Um, I could spend a lot of time automating like the reverb and and playing with the perspective on each voice. But I think if there was dialogue over the top of that, I think that would be totally sufficient for a somewhat believable loop group. It's not the same as as a real loop group. This is not going to replace a real loop group on a show that has a budget for it. But if it's me doing post audio on an indie and I am tasked with a small scene like this where there's five people and I need to build the voices, this is exactly how I would go about it if I had no other options. Let me know what you guys think about this workflow uh, and if you've any of you have used it. I've, like I said at the beginning, used this on documentaries um, and it's new enough where I haven't used it on narrative stuff yet. I'm a little hesitant to because on those, I try to get the production to pay for a loop group. But if, if I couldn't, I, to me, this is a completely viable workflow, but I'd love to know what you think about this. If you think this is something you would use. And I also want to know if you have used 11 labs for anything that's a little bit outside the box like this, not just straight text to speech, but creative uses for voice changing or the other tools. Uh, I'm going to spend a lot of time exploring 11 labs over the next couple of weeks. Hopefully I find some more things to share with you guys, but I'm really curious to know how you use it, especially in professional workflows. So leave a comment below and I'll try to read them all and I'll see you guys on the next video. Till then, take care.